I've learned from my experience and that of hundreds of other people I, I've run into that the answer to being healthy, to looking good, feeling good, and preventing or recovering from disease, from serious illness, is whole food, plant-based nutrition. In January of 2013, I considered myself a reasonably typical 66-year-old senior. Um, I had moderately high blood pressure, I had moderately high cholesterol, I had off the charts triglycerides, I was 20, 30 pounds overweight. During the course of a routine examination, they saw something uh, in my throat they didn't like, which led to a diagnosis of stage four throat cancer that had metastasized into my lymph nodes. That uh, began a five-month odyssey uh, to prepare for it. There was a lot of preparation, dental and things that had to be done. And then two and a half months of, of five-day-a-week treatments uh, with chemotherapy every, every other week. And that left me emaciated. Uh, I was a shriveled up little old man for the first time in my life, which made it, I mean, it was, it was scary getting out of the shower in the morning right in front of that mirror. So I, I just learned not to look because it was, it was really, really scary. Toward the end of it, I asked my doctors, I went on the Oral Cancer Foundation website and was reading a blog and it said, you know, get, get this G-tube, gastro tube. Uh, you can just eat right directly into your stomach, and it sounds disgusting, but really it was wonderful. And I did that. Uh, I, I recommended that. I asked my doctors for that. They said, uh, yeah, we'll do it. They scheduled it for next week. And they gave me cases of this stuff called isosource, which is, if you look at the ingredients, it's water, sugar, milk protein, casinate, and then a big long list of chemicals. And I knew enough at that time because of conversations with my son Todd and a friend of mine from high school, John Blair, and uh, uh, this wonderful cancer uh, consultant, Marilyn Joyce, who had written a book, Curing Cancer with, with Nutrition, and, and she had suffered from it a, a couple of times, that nutrition was and could be a, a, a really vital component in not, not just preventing it, and it was a little late for me for that, but in, in reversing it and, and recovering from it. So I told my doctors about it and they were a little, I like to say they were uncomfortable with it because there is a thought in, uh, in the, the medical community that, that large amounts of antioxidants might fight the chemotherapy. There's no, I don't think there's anything that valid that proves that, but, but there's a, a concern. Uh, so they expressed their concern and I told them that I was going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> so for the next eight months, the last three or four weeks of treatment and, and the next uh, seven or so months, we started a program where we, the, the foundation of which was a whole food shake. So we started with that every day. I added a bunch of stuff. I put blueberries and, and bananas and, and walnuts and chia and flax and, and uh, more kale and, and things and made this great big giant uh, drink, uh, 30, 40 ounces. And then I put six whole food capsules in it, okay, which is 25, 30 now, whole foods. And I, I fed that to myself with a, with a big plunger uh, uh, through a tube and directly into my stomach three times a day for eight months. So there's this, this program called Transform 30 where you detox and, and get, get, really make a big step to getting your health back in 30 days and then it can extend uh, if you really want to get healthy. But uh, uh, they say, yeah, do T30. I say, T30. I said, I did T240. To get to the, the, to the end of it, 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 after eight months, my blood pressure was normal with no medication. My cholesterol was low normal with no medication. My triglycerides for the first time were in, in 20 years that since we started measuring it, they used to be 1,700, 1,100. They were like 140, which is right, right in the middle, nice, nice range. Uh, I had gained uh, 20 pounds of muscle, plant protein, you know, didn't need the, the, the whey stuff, uh, the muscle builder stuff or, or animal protein. I am so convinced, I now know, I thought, but I now know that we can be healthy and vital at any age. So here I am, 70 years old, and I'm healthier than I've been 
probably, I mean, the last year or so since, uh, since I recovered from the cancer. I'm healthier than I've been in the last at least 30 years. So there's, there's, there's hope, you know, there's hope and, and, you know, just moderate lifestyle changes. I'm going to share this with as many people as I can with the time that I have left and it looks like that's going to be more time than I thought. I feel like I've been given another chance. I'm going to take everything I've learned and pay it forward.